everybody loves good news, don't they? Yeah, when we are going to talk about that regarding some developments on Ashley Dupree, and we are also going to do a comparison between Kaiser Chiefs' defense from last year and this season and see if there's been a huge difference or not because there are now people who are saying there's a huge difference. Well, you'll find out later what I think about that. Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Pelo. I am your host and this this is where fans meet and talk about Kaiser Chiefs. I'm a football club. I'm teaching the intro. Mankalu 2024. <laughs> Anyways, apparently, well, not apparently, KZ Chiefs have reported, released a statement on their website talking about the fact that Ashley Dupree is back and is now training and it could be available for the game this weekend. And also, we'll see a Tembas Tebe is also now going to be available. Those are good news. And it brings about a very interesting two questions and dynamics with regards to these two players okay let's start with ashley to pre his availability what does it mean it means either competition for ranga and gonzalez which one do you prefer do you want him to play through the middle and compete with them or it means Saile goes to the bench to pre plays as a right winger or Saile or modi goes to the right wing Mm, to pre plays in the left wing. Which position do you prefer Ashley to pre to play in? Because if he's available, it's a no brainer. He's a starter. Any game of the any day of the week he plays for Kaiser Chiefs. But the question is, which position do you actually think fits him best? Because I will say this and I will sound like a broken record over and over again. I do not think Ashley to pre is a number nine who should be played there alone if he plays as a number nine. He should be playing as a second striker if he's playing as a number nine. Not on his own. Because when we do that, he tends to be overused. And then you end up having situations like this where he's injured because he's running into midfield, running forward. And most of the times, we're not even trying to play ball. We're always trying to kick the ball over the defense and then have to pre-chase after the ball. And then the boy gets fatigued. The man gets fatigued and then ends up getting, getting injuries. So I think... As a winger, Vele, where there's space, he can play there. And Vele, that's the requirement of a winger to kind of be in a wide space, get the ball, take people on, and then make things happen. And in midfield, there's just a lot of work. Some of them that has nothing to do or that does not get the best out of Dupree, which is taking people on. Because usually teams, they congest the midfield or mid spaces around the midfield. It's always congested. And... A player like to print its space to maneuver. We've seen this thing with Sile as well. Whenever he's playing and he's played as a number nine, he struggles. Same thing with Pulemondi. You invert him a bit, he struggles. But if he's starting wide, then he dribbles in and then he gets space and then he can score. So that's my opinion. I think he's best suited as a left winger. I would rather you play him as a right winger if you're insisting of playing him because, well, yeah. And then I got see a Timbers table now. It's also tricky because there were talks, you remember, when we talked about how <laughs> I, 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 I thought that was ridiculous also, I'll say that. How we talked about Amazulu and Chiefs having a swap deal for who say Timbers table going to Amazulu and Chiefs getting Umatuna and then adding some money or whatever the situation is. I think it's ridiculous. I do think he will stay. But the question is, where does he play? Like already at this point, we have Samge Luzwane who played really well in the derby and has not played since. You have Ukastia who's now sitting on the bench for whatever reason. Well, we know the reason. So now, where is Tebe going to fit? Because what this means is just that one of the boys, either Samge Luzwane or Osabe Luhatiebe Umtutuzi Shabalala, they are now further down the pecking order. And I think they've done this with Umtuven. They have removed him completely as playing as a number 10. They now play him as a winger. And the worst thing now is that they're also playing him as a right winger and not necessarily a left winger. Obviously, people are going to say, hey, these boys should adapt and know that in football, you must change positions at time. But the problem with my FC is that we change positions, players' positions all the time, and then it doesn't end up suiting them. We end up saying, how about Zinc or Morgan? We're playing them out of position. But I... If I'm being honest, I don't see where Steve is going to play at Chiefs. I really don't. I know there would be injuries, but 
if you look at our team right now, do you honestly look at the team and think, hey, my daughter, we lack depth. We don't lack depth. We have players in every position. The only position that doesn't have depth is the left back position. Anywhere else in the field, we have depth. Because even as I said, with the number nines, they do get injured a lot, both of them. But it, it doesn't hurt. I need value already play to play as a nine. You can play him as a nine if Kuguti, those number nines are not available. So that's not a train smash. So basically, have three number nines. And also, they can even play. Ukasti as a false nine if Bebon Guti there is no space for him in midfield. So play him as a false nine. Or even play him to Shabalala as a false nine. He's been he's able to do that as well. So the Zutuba. Every other place achieves has depth. It's just that the left back position doesn't have depth. And that is why I'm saying right now, Stebe, I don't know how he fits. What do you think Stebe fits in the team, by the way? Do let me know in my comments. And while you're here, please do make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Does help me reach more people like you. Now, let's compare the stats of last season and this season in after 14 games because I saw this article on Lato Much. It's like he's achieved massive improvement or something like that in defense. Mind you, we signed Titlokwe, very good defender. He's now injured. We signed Umsimango. We've been crying about Umsimango Simfona. And then I want you to tell me. Is this massive improvement or is this great improvement? And then we'll discuss why this is good or bad. So, after 14 games last season, Chiefs had five clean sheets, right? And they had considered 15 goals. 14 games, five clean sheets, four, four, 15 goals. Ne? This season, 14 games, six clean sheets, 11, 11 goals considered. Now, you look at this, you like last year, by they considered five, they only had five clean sheets after 14 games, and this year it's one more. Is it significant, Bandaben's statistic, like one more clean sheet? Is it a significant difference? And four more goals, is it significant? Especially, especially since we've invested money into getting more defenders in to improve upon what we did or how we did last season? My answer is no. Because if we're playing with the same squad that we played with last year, I would say, okay, that's improvement with the same team. But now, it's a different team, an improved team, yet it's still the same number of goals or just four less and one clean sheet more. It, it, to me, it doesn't seem like it's a significant, significant difference. But... I will say that the problem, obviously, is not the players themselves because we know they played well where they came from. About the clock where they were playing well, keep, keep, keeping clean sheets at Super Sport. We know Aum Simang was playing well, Gui 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 Test Galaxy. In midfield, we know Abo, Abo who's this? <laughs> Om Teto were playing well at Stellenbosch. Yet, at Chiefs, they're now leaking goals. The problem needs to be addressed. We need to fix our defense once again because to have this this thing this small difference shows Uguti we are bringing in players but we're still getting the same results which basically means something is not being done correctly so if you do think this is good improvement by the way you can always let me know because also last season we had a lot of combinations as well after 14 games there was a point where it was Uz Uzita playing with Ungezan and then they dropped Ungezana, they played Uzita, no, 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 not Dove, and then they played with Dove and Ungezan. Begugning, Shenad, this season, there's been that mixing and matching. And I, I, I leave this question with you. Where and what needs to be improved in that defense so that we stop leaking goals? Because low 15 goals or 11 goals that we've considered this season has been the difference between winning the game and losing the game. Like against Cape Town City, there was no need to concede two goals. We had nine if we dropped those two goals. Again, we concede a stupid, stupid goal against the Super Sports. We're not supposed to concede that goal. Eight goals. You look again, you look around the goal you considered against Cape Town City. We're not supposed to concede that goal. Six. You can, only, you can look at all these goals and say how many goals have actually been incredible that we've considered this season where we're like, okay, this was a good team move by the other team. Very few. So something needs to be done.
question to you is what is it where are we lacking is it the combination of the players or is it the system do let me know down in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and until next time remember equals and pillow mode